Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So we're going to be continuing our Dead Like Me review slash discussion. So this entire episode really discusses two major points and one of those is experiences and the other one is relationships. And in the top of the episode, George talks about how um, she has this pretty strong dislike of social experiences and social settings and being around people and really takes a few minutes to kind of judge what everybody is doing and is just generally unhappy with the way that society works and how much of an outcast that she feels from them. We start getting a little bit of a delve into the last family and how they're moving forward and kind of coping with George's death. So one thing that is happening in this episode that's a really big B plot for them is a refocus on a new family photo that does not include George in it. So again, we're talking about relationships and experiences and the relationship dynamics that are happening that Joy and Clancy are just distancing even more than they were before. Joy is really just trying to build her relationship stronger with Reggie, which is not really working out very well. We learn that George has been breaking into the house, that <laughs> she's been going in, she's been taking stuff of hers, she's been taking stuff of her mom's, and she's just trying to relive those memories and those experiences again and just kind of feel what that felt like. And she's having a lot of regrets about the way that she lived her life and is thinking about how she wants to move forward. And then we start getting into a more ongoing plot of Reggie really feels like George is still around somehow and she's trying to communicate with her further and she used uh, a Ouija board in the previous episode but she's using it again in this one so again we're just kind of continuing that plot point. So continuing on this discussion of relationships we find out that George is kind of starting to want to she wants to build relationships with her group and she's reevaluating that and she's thinking that maybe Betty can be somebody who's a friend to her she tries reaching out to Roxy at some point and she's kind of just getting met with walls and with barriers but also George has been throwing nothing but barriers throughout her entire run with this group so it's no wonder that they are kind of throwing up barriers as well to kind of avoid those relationships with her because she's still carrying on those things that she did while she was alive with those around her now that she's undead. When she goes home the second time in this episode, she ends up interacting with Joy. The first time she breaks in, she doesn't get seen. She just goes in, swipes some stuff, and, and leaves. And this time she actually interacts with her mom and she wants to tell her a story to tell her, like, it's me, I'm George, I'm still alive, but she can't remember it. So her and Rube are talking after the fact and she's really upset that she forgot this story that was important to her and she asks Rube, is this all I have left are my memories? And Rube tells her, that's all you ever had and kind of just lets her sit in her sadness. And at the very end of it, George is sitting there in her talking head confession. She's talking about how her entire life she avoided things and she's really starting to think like maybe that was the wrong decision and then it focuses on um, Roxy and Betty and Mason and they're all just kind of sitting talking with each other at another booth and George is sitting alone by herself at another one and it takes this opportunity to kind of give us this visual of she's really thinking like I need to I need to put my head in this game and stop doing the things that I did before because that clearly wasn't what I liked so we're starting this ball rolling of her trying to better herself my favorite quote from this episode which I use all the time is Roxy is taking a drink from her juice and she mentions that it tastes funny Betty takes a sip of it and says it tastes like Fresca and that's my favorite quote from this episode and so that is the episode Curious George and I'll see you guys in the next video